sounds of grief and sorrow for a man who lost his life 14 centuries ago. These people are taking part in the 10-day ceremonies marking the martyrdom anniversary of the third Shia Imam Hussein ibn Ali and 72 of his companions who were killed by the forces of the tyrannical ruler of the time, Yazid ibn Muawiyah, on the plains of modern-day Iraqi city of Karbala some 14 centuries ago. Now the ninth day of the lunar month of Muharram is of a major significance to Shia Muslims. It is called Tasu'a and is designated to Imam Hussein's half-brother, Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas, who fought alongside Imam Hussein against Yazid's army. Abu al-Fadl is highly revered among Muslims as a symbol of loyalty. In the Battle of Karbala, Imam Hussein and his companions and household were denied access to the Euphrates River to drink water, and it was Abu al who fought a large group of Yazid forces to get to the river, but on the way back, he was brutally killed by the enemy soldiers. The Karbala tragedy came after Imam Hussein refused to pay allegiance to Yazid, the second Umayyad Caliph who was known for corruption, injustice and discrimination. Imam Hussein taught us the culture of resistance. He taught us to stand up for righteousness even if it comes at the cost of our lives. This is how he revived the true Islam. During the 10 days of Muharram morning, Muslims dress in black and hold street processions where they beat their chests and listen to elegies in admiration of Imam Hussein. They say the occasion is a chance to contemplate the message of Karbala. Imam Hussein offered his blood to save humanity from ignorance. This is one of the messages of the Karbala tragedy which needs to be contemplated. The climax of these ceremonies will be on the 10th day of Muharram, which is called the day of Ashura, and is a day when Imam Hussein and his companions were brutally killed by the Yazid army in 680 AD. The Karbala tragedy has been awakening the sympathy of millions of people worldwide for nearly 14 centuries. But these people say the historic event is not just about its tragic aspect but remains an endless source of lessons about humanity, which needs to be kept alive to inspire people across generations. Yusuf Jalali, Press TV, Tehran.